Hello. I know I don't need to tell you this, but I'm going to anyway. Plants don't like extremes of weather. Don't like it when it's too hot. They don't like it when it's too cold. They don't like it when it's too dry. And they don't like it when it's too wet. And currently, either homegrown veg in the northern part of the United Kingdom, we're having some extreme weather. Weather what we wouldn't normally get. The weatherman summed this up quite nicely on TV the other night. He said, <clears throat> It's as though the weather map of the United Kingdom is being turned upside down. Now if you're gardening in the United Kingdom, you'll know this. The southern part of the United Kingdom tends to be warmer and drier than the northern part of the United Kingdom. But here in the north, it tends to be cooler and wetter. I'm gardening on the edge of the English Lake District. I've got to tell you something. So yeah, so normally at this, um, in this part of the country, it's cooler and wetter than it is in the southern part. But it's as though the weather map has been turned upside down. The southern part of the UK is warm, it's still warm, but it's getting some rain and that rain's blowing in. From the continent. We're not getting it up here up north. It's been so hot for the last six weeks, wall to wall sunshine and no rain to speak of. So okay, you're gardening at home, you can water your vegetables, you can water your garden, provided there's no restrictions. And there are no restrictions yet, but they're probably not far away. But the sun just keeps beating down, day after day after day after day. I'm going to show you something now. I'm not putting this down, the hot, dry weather, 100%. But I'd like to put it down to the hot, dry weather, I don't know, 90%. Check this out, then come back to me. I only have two dozen red skin onions growing in my raised bed but I've had to pull these half dozen because they've all bolted so that's significant for me losing half a dozen this early in the season and as you can see they haven't started to bulb up yet and because they've bolted they're not likely to bulb up so I'm not likely to get any onion out of these this year other than what I might be able to salvage from what you see in front of the camera now. It's not going too well here at Homegrown Veg in the United Kingdom with my red skin onions grown from sets. Here's another half dozen that have bolted. So, all those red skins bolted. They've all bolted. I've kept them watered regularly, but the sun has been relentless. Now I know there are still onions in that bed, bolting, going to seed, and I'm going to pull them out today and let you have a look at them. Come on, let's have a look at them. What's really maddening about this is that some of these red skin onions are starting to bulb up. Take this one for example. Well, look at that. 
starting to bulb up. But then we get this. This seed head. So that's going to get no bigger. And on the face of it, if we cover that up, that looks like a nice onion. That looks like one that's going to get across the finish line. And then we see this. Boy, it's maddening. It really is. This fella here. Wow. It's a seed head, isn't it? Yeah, it's so maddening, so maddening, but I've had good years, I've definitely had good years, presumably as far as red skins go, this is going to be a bad year, I'll have to suck it up and go again next year, that's all we can do, that's all we can do, hope you're having better luck with your red skins than I am with mine. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.